If you want cheap and instant ultimate team coins, head on over to mudcoinbank.com and use code Zixi at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Luxcom today with another YouTube video and today we have the offensive positional heroes and I believe these are actually in packs. I'm going to leave a link in the description for a tweet. Someone actually pulled the center Travis Frederick in a pro pack. But we have for the quarterback position Ben Roethlisberger. We have one of these RG3s. We have, I believe I actually sold most of my offensive guys, Mariota, we have a Fitzpatrick, this Fitzpatrick actually might be going for something, he is going for, oh boy, oh okay, 6k, it's actually pretty damn good, at the running back position, we actually have someone that I thought would get this, DeMarco Murray, bruising back, and Tennessee chemistry, these are all the cards that you needed for this, I have this Melvin Gordon, and he is going for a whopping 3k, I thought he'd actually be going for quite more. Jamal Charles is in this set, and then we also have Rashad Jennings, and Trey Mason as well, he's probably not going for much though, and you also need some alternate chemistry guys for this, and five elite badges, so they did tone down the elite badges a little bit, we have fullback Patrick DeMarco, for the wide receivers, we have Amari Cooper, who is going to be an absolute beast, this card, I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard from people on Twitter this card is absolutely nasty. Apparently it's like basically Randy Moss. Just different chemistries when they're rather in deep three chemistries. We also have the 73 Willie Sneed, which is only going from a 3k. Now they actually have some packs out right now that guarantee you some cards that go into these packs and a topper that guarantees you cards that go into these packs as well. And here is the other wide receiver, Stefan Diggs, and the first 99 overall receiver is a tight end. EA, what are you doing, bro? Literally, what are you doing? We have the Zach Miller that goes in the set, and he is going for 3K again. Man, I really don't think we have any of the expensive ones. I know we have a couple centers that might go for some. We have a Jerry Cook, Clive Wolford. We have Josh Hill. Here is the set. We actually have two of the Michael Pruitt, so he's probably not going for nothing at all. But the first 99 overall receiver is actually Jordan Reed. Left tackle, we have Joe Thomas, which is Care Pass Bocker. Left guard, Josh Sitton. And then center, we have Travis Frederick, the man, the myth, the legend. He definitely needed this upgrade. He hasn't gotten an upgrade in a long time. So we have this center. Oh, he's only going for 5K. And then we have in the right guard that we have is Kevin Zeitler. These are the cards that go in the set. I don't think we have any of the right guards. Actually, we do. Ryan Wendell, John Osamuai. And Asuma is only going for a hot 2.3k. And then the right tackle that we have is Brian Bulaga for the Packers. Edge protector and Green Bay chemistries. I may actually look into getting some of these because it looks like these are more obtainable than the defense. And then finally we have Adam Venetary for the kicker. A very solid, very solid kicker should be. He did retire, so this will be probably the last card that we get, honestly. Shane Graham, actually I don't think it was Adam Venetary, I think it was the punter, not the kicker so my bet on that one but we have Shane Graham who goes for about 7k and let's go look at these guys in the auction block so the fullback is going for 325k Brian Bulaga is going for 400k 96 overall compared to Eric Williams he has way better pass block not as good run block the same impact block I mean he's pretty good but I really I wouldn't see the point in switching Stefan Diggs going for 575k uh, comparing to Antonio Brown, this is kind of like sort of his receiver type. 95 round winnings, very good. 87 release could be a little bit better for 96 positional hero. Uh, 93 spec isn't bad. 93 catch isn't bad, and 92 spec isn't bad or speed isn't bad as well. But this really doesn't look too much of an upgrade over Antonio Brown. I mean, Antonio Brown is only 93, and Stephon Diggs is a 96. So I, you think he'd have a little bit better stats? Demarco Murray, 97 overall compared to Ezekiel Elliott. He's got one less speed, two less excel, one more excel, one more carry, and 10 more trucking. That's basically the outline of it. 88 juke. I wish it was 90, because then you get that little, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the point where they have really good jukes. 94 run block, 91 pass block, and 92 impact block on Kevin Zeidler. Now this Frederick, I know for a fact, goes to 99 run block and 99 impact block when he's fully come down. Chemed out. I don't know what the hell I just said right there. 91 strength, 95 run block, 91 pass block, and 95 impact block. 62 speed isn't bad, 92 stamina. I'm definitely going to pick up this Travis Frederick, you guys already know. Huge Cowboys fans, got to get him and Amari Cooper. 
This card is going to look nasty compared to Brandon Marshall, 92 speed, 92 elusiveness, 95 spec, 93 round run with 91 release and 90 jumping, 6 foot 1, a very Randy Moss type receiver. And then we also have Josh Sitton, who has 91 run block, 95 pass block and 89 impact. That's actually pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. Ben Roethlisberger though, deep through times 2 and Pittsburgh times 2, 93 short, 96 medium, with 92 deep, with 79 speed, comparing to his, I guess you could say his rival, Tony Romo. Um, I mean, he looks pretty decent, I feel like he's pretty good when he's fully chemmed out. And then we also have Joe Thomas, who is 90 run block, 95 pass block, and 93 impact block, secure pass blocker is huge. And then we also have Jordan Reed going for a mill. 90 speed, 95 run run, and 94 spec catch on a tight end with 77 run block. That's insane. But those are all the new offensive positional heroes. Apparently, these guys are in packs. Check out the link. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys next time.